Okay. We will begin again. So we? Yes. We'll begin again. Yes. And uh, what's sorry? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, so what you now uh, did and what I kind of wanted to show with the exercise was that um, here, for example, we get movies promise which is the um, all the the movies and uh, then we call that then and that we take the data we call that json we call that then and that and let's say we wanted to for example uh, bring some pizza here then again we need to call that then and that okay and and we have some data here Anyone see any problem with this, how, kind of how this looks? Let, let's say we, in here, we want to fetch some new movies. Okay. <laughs> Do you guys see how this looks? We start out here and then we go in. And 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 we indent all the time, right? We indent and we indent and we indent and we indent. Do you think this looks nice or not so nice? <laughs> not so nice. I'm glad you said that. <laughs> um, we, it's yeah, it's it's kind of a little annoying to read. And let's say you let's say you like this. Now it's really annoying because the code is not kind of structured downwards like this. It's structured outwards. That that is annoying. And this is what people kind of call the callback hell. In so in this case, it's not callbacks. We are using promises and we are calling to them, but we still get this problem where we are indenting all the time. And um, I think I had an example here with, for example, a set timeout as well. So here, this is called by Kel, right? We set a timeout for three, three seconds. After those three seconds, we set a new timeout for three seconds. And we indent and we indent and we indent and we indent. We don't like this. And that was what I kind of wanted to show you with the exercise, was that uh, first we get the movies, no, we waited for three seconds, then we did it at then, so we have an intention, okay? Then we got the movies, okay? Another intention, that then. Then we get the JSON, now we have another intention. Then we needed to get the Reddit posts, again, another intention. But we actually don't have to do it like this. Because we can chain it kind of like we do with a map and filter and reduce. We can do exactly the same thing with promises. Okay, so I'm going to create a, a function that is called um, bring me food. Uh, bip, 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 bip. Let's do it as a food. It takes food, and uh, what we do in here is that we return a new promise. Okay, so now we are creating a promise okay what do we need to uh, what do we need to do when we create a promise 
We need to give the promise a function, right? Yes, exactly. We solve and reject. That is when we create the promise. So uh, bring me some food is a pretty uh, simple promise. It um, waits for some time, say one second, okay? And what is the next thing we need to do when we create a promise? Yes, we need to call resolve when we are done with our Ajax. And that's here in this, um, in this case, it's after one second we call resolve. Resolve will just take food, which will get resolved. Okay. So if I say equals bring me food, okay, bread. Cool. If we do like this. What will we get? What type is this? Why? Exactly. Yes. We have created a function here, okay? As a parameter, it takes something called food. The only thing it does with food is it resolves with the food that we gave it. Okay, nothing more. Um, so when we call this function, it returns a new promise. Okay, so here we call it. That means we call bring me food and we get a promise. Okay, what do we do with the promise when we use it? Exactly. Bring me bread. And then takes a function. Okay. Here we we have called it data before, but let's now call it food. Okay. And so lock food. Um so can someone explain me when I run this code what what will happen? Uh, lock out breath. Exactly. After one second. Okay? Because the uh, promise creation part is just we wait for one second and we resolve. That's it. Nothing uh, nothing fancy. Wait for one second and resolve. So that's a promise that we return, okay? So when we call this, now we have a promise here. And let's lock that out, just to kind of hit home the point. Let's go in here. And I think I'll, I'll just remove all these locks. Here we have a lock. Here we have one. Yes, like that. Okay, on line 90, we have a promise. Okay, that is because we have created a new variable. That variable is the return value of bring me food. And what is the return value of bring me food? Well, we just go into the function and see. Return new promise. Okay, cool. We have a promise. So always when you're working with stuff like this, log it out and see what you have. And if you have a promise that you know, ah, okay, I know what I, I, I can do with a promise. I can call that then or dot catch on it. That's how I use it. Cool. So let's log this out and see what happens. We have the promise and after one second, we log out the string bread. Okay, that is because after one second, the promise resolves. Okay, when this resolves, what happens? 
when we call the resolve function here when we call the resolve function when we have created it what happens then afterwards right afterwards what sorry exactly yes when we resolve here then this one gets run okay with the function that we gave it we said well when this function resolves we want you to run this function nothing else but only that function that we gave to you because it's it's kind of like with the callback where it's like you know the browser says or JavaScript tells the browser you know wait for five seconds and then the browser goes like okay but after those five seconds what should I do you know should I lock something out should I alert should I plus a integer what should I do you know and we as the creators we say well don't worry about it we'll just give you a function and you just need to call that when you're done it's kind of the same thing here okay when we have resolved the promise is like well okay I'm resolved but what should I do you know and we're like don't worry about it we'll give you a function and the only thing you need to do is you you just call the function and then we decide what happens okay and that's why we give the dot then we give it a function because we want to say when we have resolved with our asynchronous code then we want to do this okay just call our function that's it okay cool um, so let's say we um, wanted to after we have brought some bread now we want to uh, bring some uh, strawberries some what sorry potatoes. some potatoes yes okay we want to bring some potatoes help me write this code then <coughs> Bring me potato equals bring food. Yes. Potato. Okay. What is the constant bring me potato? What is that? What type? How do we know? Exactly. What if we didn't? What if we couldn't see the bring me food? We just got the function. We have no idea how it's created. How, how would we know that it's a promise then? Type off. Yeah, exactly. We could do type off or we could just lock it out like we've done. So let's, let's do that. Okay. And we've seen this a couple of times. So it says here promise pending. Okay. So now we know that this is a promise. When we know it's a promise, then what can we call on it? That then, exactly, okay? But now we start getting into trouble again. Not trouble, but we start getting into the annoying part. Because you see, now, now we are slowly beginning our indention. We don't want that, okay? So what can we do instead? We can do this, okay? This is a promise. We can actually return this promise inside of the dot then function. Okay? Now we can do like this. Okay. Let's try and say um, potato 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 and let's log it out we have bread and then we have potato okay what's going on here this is a bit weird okay now we are chaining promises okay so um, let's first do it like this we assign this to a variable um, like that uh, constants I don't 
No, that's a good one. <laughs> Test. Okay. What type do you think test is? A promise. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> it's a promise. Let's try and uh, let's try and see if it actually is a promise. We'll just remove this lock and we'll remove this one. Okay. It's a promise. Okay. So on a promise we can call what? Dot then. Let's let's try. See what happens. Okay, dot then. What if we log out test now? What do you think it is now? What type? It's still a promise. Yes. We can do another one. And we can let's let's try and just return one here. It's still a promise. Okay? So we can just keep chaining that then and they will always be promises. Okay? What sorry? Yes, yes. So if we do uh, let's first see here. One two and three okay we'll see one two and three no uh, <laughs> oh yeah 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 we did okay because exactly yeah so we waited for that one second and then we just say one two three that means when we call that then the result of that then, like the return value of that then, is a promise. Okay. So, and, and you, you saw up here, actually, we waited for one second, and then it said one, two, three. Okay. Why do, don't you think it just said one, two, three, straight ahead? Why is that? Let's try and do it like this. We don't return the bring me potato promise, okay? We just assign it to a variable and do nothing with it. We still get one, two, three. Um, sorry, that's because... Um, <laughs> let's do... Five seconds here, okay? After five seconds, we'll call this dot then. And then what should happen is that when we are in here, it'll say food, and then it'll say one, two, three, straight after. Okay, let's have a look at that. So let's cross our fingers. So we wait five seconds. Bread, one, two, three, straight after. Okay, what happens if we uh, get the potato, which is a promise? And we try and return that in the dot then function. What do you think would happen? Wait another five seconds. Exactly. Let's try and see how that looks. So now we should see bread, and then it'll wait for five seconds, and then it'll say one, two, three. Now we're waiting, 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 waiting. One, two, three. Okay. That's interesting, right? Mm -hmm. Because if we didn't do it, if we just assign the variable, then we get bread, one, two, three, right after each other, okay? And that's because here, we are not, we are not returning a promise. Then the dot then, it'll just return straight ahead, okay? But if we, in a dot then function, return another promise, then this one is gonna say, oh, wait a second. I got a promise here. I better wait for that to be resolved before I run my dot then function. It kind of makes sense, right? Because um, we return a promise to a dot then function, and this one goes like, "Ooh, I got a, I got a promise. Hmm, what should I do with this promise? It's probably not a good idea just to resolve, you know, straight ahead." 
because I got a promise. I probably want to wait for that promise to either resolve or reject. And when it resolves, then I will call my own .then function. Okay? And now we can start and doing not the one where we kind of indent and indent and indent. We can do it like kind of like asynchronous code that just goes down, which is really nice. So we can say, bring me a potato. When we have the potato, we can just get some new. We can get a strawberry. Bring me, bring me strawberry. Okay. If we want to wait before we call this the then function, what do we then need to do up here? We need to return the promise. Okay? Then when this promise resolves, then we'll go into the into the next of then. Okay, so that, that then they always check, well, what did I get from the previous that then? Did I get just a return value of one? If I got a return value of one, if I did like this, for example, you say, ah, oh, it's not a promise. I'll just run my that then function straight as soon as I can. It's only in the, um, it's only when it returns a promise, it goes like, ah, oh, I got a promise. Okay. I should wait before I call my own but then function okay so this one is all all the time checking what did I get from the previous <laughs> one if I got a promise then I'll wait till it's resolved and then I'll call my own but then function okay so with this in mind if we wanted to first uh, we want to um, wait for a couple of seconds. Let's, what did we have? We have this promise, okay? Wait two seconds promise, okay? Wait two seconds promise. We know it's a promise, so what can we call on it? Well then. then, nice. Um, now I want to fetch the Reddit movies, okay, or let's say the, um, not the Reddit movies, the movies, <laughs> okay? So we do fetch for the, the movies well. We have that here, okay? And we say console.log uh, data. What will happen now? Of the promise we need to call JSON. So log of the promise. What, sorry? Log the promise. You want to uh, lock the promise this? Data is already the promise. What, sorry? Data is not a promise. Data is not a promise. So, what if we do like this? Constant. Um, what is the result of fetch movies URL? What do we get from that? A promise. Uh, okay. Oh. So that means this is a promise. Okay. Um, If we return this promise, what will happen now? We will first wait for two seconds and then we'll call this, okay? What, sorry? Exactly. So, 
This is the movie's promise. Let's lock that out. Except, yeah, yeah. Let's try and lock this out and see uh, what we get here. On call in promise, undefined. Uh, 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 um. Let's just lock this out. What did I do now? I think I have some um, formatting error somewhere. But where? What does it say in the console? What, sorry? It's just this. Uh, Uncode in promise. Index.html. My go to when you get errors like this. It's always to kind of, oh, okay, it must be something here. So I think I misformatted something here. Can anyone see what that is? You changed the movie URL. Is it mistyped? What, sorry? Movie URL is mistyped. It's, it's wrong. Go to that variable. GitHub user font. No, I think that's fine. It's see. saying that you are not catching the promise. What, sorry? You send the movie URL. No, you check it back. Yes. <laughs> uh, I'm actually not entirely sure why this. <laughs> something before that. The, the wait to check on. The, the function you have Let's see what we have in the wait two seconds. I think that maybe you will really comment it out. Yeah, maybe. But then it should just say. Ah, uh, oh, I know. Yeah, it's because I rejected the promise here. Uh. <laughs> yes. Mystery solved. Everybody's happy. <laughs> Uh, pip, 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 pip. So we got the response that we um, so the fetch function. The result of that is a response. What was it we called on the um, on the response to get the data out? JSON. Exactly, dot JSON. So so what we do here is um, we fetch the movies URL. That is a promise. Okay, we just return the promise in the dot then function. Then the next dot then function is like, ooh, I got a promise. I better wait. Okay, I'll wait till that promise is resolved, and then the value that that promise gets resolved with gets put into the data here. So it is kind of like doing it here. If we did like this. Promises start then. Yeah? Uh, one thing I want to say, so um, you said that if you return this promise and then the next then will wait another like uh, another uh, set timeout to just this like Not set timeout. Thing. It'll wait. We have, a, we have a set timeout uh, uh, in the beginning of Yes. The, yeah. So uh, because we, when we were experimenting on the previous code, it waits for another set five seconds. But here, why it doesn't? Uh, I'm not sure I understand yeah, the I'm question. Sorry, yeah. it's because wait two seconds promise is a promise you're using first. The second one is when you fetch it. You're not, you're not using the wait, wait two seconds again. But why the previous code did? Because if, if you they go were calling it again. They were calling the same function. You go up to bring you through up to the uh, uh, Yeah, that one. You're using bring me through time for potential for okay <laughs> I'm glad you uh, you got it <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the top 10 function here it gets the day you, you know this 
when we have a promise, we can call dot then on that, and the dot then we give that a function where we have the data we got from the result value. Okay, we saw that up here. Here we had the bring me some pizza, right? We resolved it with a pizza emoji, and this data you could say like the pizza emoji, right? We could get that out here when we call the dot then. Yeah. Yes. It's exactly the same down here. Here it's just the movie promises. We didn't create this promise ourselves. We just use it, right? Mm -hmm. When we call dot then on that, we give it a function. The dot then takes a function. And the parameter of that is the data that we get from the fetch function. Okay? And that is a response. This, okay, is ex you see this is exactly the same. Here we call uh, movies, we can actually format it even the same, right? Here we just take the variable movie promise, which is a promise, and call the then on it. it, takes data and we lock it out. If we return this movie promise, then the next dot then will be exactly the same as this one. Can you see that? Yeah. There's no real difference. Here we are just here we're doing it by indention. Here we get the problem where we keep indenting and indenting and going in and in and in and in. But if we just return this promise, then the next dot then will say, ooh, it's a promise. I'll wait until that is resolved and then I'll get the data that I got from the, the promise. Okay? So we haven't got actually the data here. We have something called the response, right? Yeah. Okay. And on the response, we could call what function? Dot JSON. JSON. Yes. Okay. So response dot JSON. What is the result of this function? Promise. It's a promise. Yes. So now we can do two things. What are the two things we can do? We can either return it or we can or we can just call that then here. And then we indent. We don't want to indent now, okay? So what do we do? We just return it. Okay? Now we have the data here. Because this dot then looks at the result from the previous dot then and it says, ooh, it's a promise. Cool, I will wait until that is resolved. When it is resolved, then I will call my own dot then function with the data from that. So if we log that out, then we see first the response and then we see the data. Okay, here we locked out the response and here we locked out the data. We're just kind of sending it down the line. What if we, now we have, uh, we have gotten the movies and we have uh, encoded it into an object and now we wanna bring some food and lock that out. What should we do? Yes. So um, after this return response of JSON, like, I mean, the thought then is not expecting the promise only, right? No, it can be whatever. We, so we can, we can... You just expect something. Yeah, exactly. We can return, we can return this, okay? But now that the then function sees, it looks at what it got from the previous then and it sees, oh, it's not a promise. Okay, cool. I'll That's just... At the, at, the, at the moment, you get the return. Exactly. It'll see, it's not a promise. Cool, I'll just run my function straight ahead. And when we return one, this one gets put into data. So we should see, I'm pretty sure, let's see. We should see a one here, yeah. So what we return here gets into the data. And if it's a promise, like this is, then it'll wait until that promise is resolved. And then it'll get the data from the... What, sorry? Yes. How would we figure that out? 
let's let's try and do that. Type of response.json. As a function. It actually says it's an object. It's not though. <laughs> Oh, okay. let's, <laughs> let's try and log out. Because just the response. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Everything are object in JavaScript, everything are functions. Mm. Okay, so now we see it's a promise. Is an object. Why is it a promise? It's because it's dot method returns a promise. That's why it's <laughs> see here. That's that's as per the specs of ES6. If you go, you can say mdn js. We know it's a response, right? So let's go in here. I like why do we call mango? And we will search for the JSON. I, I was struggling also with that. I don't get how we can call JSON something and get a promise in return rather than an object. Because the they, they decided to implement it like that, then they will return a promise. They decided. Oh, okay. Who are they? So every year, some people who are experts yes. in JavaScript, they decide how the language will be, and then that's how the language is like constitution. Yeah. It's like God made them. No, no, it's a committee which decides how it will be, before writing any code. You should be part of that committee. Then we will not <laughs> what if we now want to uh, we want to bring some pizza, okay? <laughs> After we have uh, gotten the movies and we have uh, done the .json, now we want to get some pizza. What should we do? Do we want to do it as chaining? What sorry? Yes. So we say, bring me some pizza. Yeah. Exactly. What is the problem with this? Oh. Exactly. Uh, did it? Let's have a look. No, it's just a promise. Okay. And how do we get how do we get the the pizza out? How yeah, but how do we log it out? Where? Then they come. Exactly. Then then pizza not data. Pizza beta. Pizza. Okay, and then we log it out. <laughs> this is the weirdest promise I've written so far in my life. So, um, bring me some pizza is not a function. Hmm. So what have I done wrong here? Bring me some pizza. Let's let's have a look at it. Uh, I think you're calling the function in bring me some pizza. Try to raise the. Exactly. It's it, and it what kind of what kind is it? What is promise. bring me some pizza? It's a promise, yeah. It's just a promise in itself. Mm -hmm. It's not a function. It's not anything. It's just a promise. So we don't need to call it because it, it's just a promise. Mm -hmm. So we can actually return it yeah. just straight ahead, and then we'll get it. it Yay! <laughs> We got yes. we got the ingredients for the pizza. I think man that those symbols that you see representing the pizza matches the thing that you have on your t-shirt. Yeah. Your well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's part of the plan. I don't know. <laughs> it is it is part of the plan. <laughs> and I'm glad you uh, <laughs> you saw it. Now I know I know too much, man. <laughs> okay. So now you can chain promises, and. This is difficult. This took me some time to wrap my head around. Okay, this is really difficult. So I definitely get if if you're like, oh, this is super weird. Yeah, I, hope, I hope you're recording. Yeah, I am recording. Yes. Otherwise, you'll just share old videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are old videos as well. Okay.
So what I want you to do, uh, we'll take a break now, a lunch break, and then uh, when we come back, I want you to rewrite the code that you did before, where first we waited three seconds, mm -hmm. then we fetch the movies, and yes. then we fetch the programmer, okay? But I don't want to see any indention, okay? I don't want to see this. I want to see the chaining of the dot then, okay? No, at all. So, we t return the promise and then get the data, okay? Oh, it would be really nice, yeah. Just remember the graphs on the is super fresh. I just looked up now with my skin, you know, folks.